Welcome to Minecraft version 1.8. This is going to be a tutorial for your first day on Minecraft. And uh, it will be up to date, hopefully. This is actually my first time playing 1.8. So I don't know everything that's going on, but I'm pretty sure the, the basic rules will be the same, other than food will really be the ma major change. So, uh, yeah, if you uh, watch a tutorial on the old Minecraft, you're not going to have any idea what to do with food, but the 1.8 food system will be covered here, so pay attention. I'm going to name this Tutor 2. In game mode, I'm going to go here, Survival. You can change it to Creative. That makes you you can read this here. You know, invincibility is not listed there, but you can't get hurt in creative mode. I'm going to do survival and I'm going to explore first. Now, if you've never played Minecraft before, when you start a new world, it's going to be a little laggy because it randomly generates the world all around you. It's looking pretty cool. I just spawned... You know what? I didn't spawn on sand. It used to be, uh... You would always spawn on sand. But I have spawned on grass. Alright, once uh, a little bit of the world has spawned around you, the very first thing you want to do is go punch a tree. I see a tree right there. I'm going to go beat the crap out of it. The reason we do this is to chop it down with our fists of iron. You take the wood, and the wood is a valuable resource. punch it, you just uh, left click and hold and it will start cracking. The big blocks of wood here turn into little blocks and they fall down and pick them up. It'll show up in your toolbar down at the bottom of the screen there. I have I picked up six blocks of wood from this tree. And what we can do with that is... Oh wait. Once you have some wood, hit E, and it brings up this uh, inventory. And you can put your blocks of wood in the crafting box here. And it makes wooden planks. Uh, if you put... I don't have any more wood. I forgot to show you, but... If you noticed, I put, for every one block of, uh, like a log I put in there, it pops out four wooden planks. And, uh, so, if you want to build with wood, you can make more wooden planks than logs. Makes it a more versatile material. The second thing you want to do after you've uh, gathered a little bit of wood oh, I have a phone call, hold on. Sorry about that. After you grab uh, some wood, the next thing you want is coal. Uh, watch this. trouble. That's weird. Anyway, put one block of wood here and you get four wooden planks. So, just showing you that again. Alright, the next thing you need is coal. Coal is this uh, rock here in the side of this mountain. It has little black dots in it. That's the coal. And, uh, 
Punching rock is a lot harder than punching trees. And when you break it with your hand, it doesn't drop any of the small blocks like the tree does. But you can make a tool that will allow you to get the rock like as a resource. What you do is put take your wooden planks, put four of them, fill up your crafting square there, and you make a crafting table. Put it somewhere don't make it till you uh well you can make it and keep it in your inventory, but don't place it anywhere until you find some coal because it's the first thing you're gonna be using it for. Once you've uh made your crafting table, you have a larger area of uh crafting here. You have nine blocks instead of four. And I'm going to make a wooden pick to uh, mine the rock and coal. And the first thing I need is sticks. And to make sticks, you put two wooden planks vertically like this and get some sticks. Now put two st a stick in the middle, a stick on the bottom, three wooden planks across the top, and you have a wooden pickaxe. I'm also going to make a wooden sword by putting one stick on the bottom and two planks down the middle. I'm going to use the pickaxe here. See, when I use a pickaxe on the rock, it drops these little blocks of cobblestone. When I use the pickaxe on coal, it drops this uh, floating brick of coal here. And I can pick that up. Now here's the scary part of Minecraft, what I'm about to tell you. The reason you need coal so bad is uh, to make lights. And the lights are torches. This is a sugar cane. You can grow that. I don't know how it spawned on sand. The reason you need torches is to light up an area because um, when that sun goes down, monsters will come out of dark areas and they will kill you. So what you want to do is uh, light up an enclosed area so that no monsters can get in. So after you have some wood and coal you're gonna want to start to make a shelter. One thing you can do is to just keep digging into the mountain where you found the coal and seal that off and light it up. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to build something out of dirt. Here's how to use your wooden sword. Go find an animal and brutally slaughter it. The sheep seems to be running away from me. They didn't do that before. He's not really running... Whoa! Okay, hold on a second. Sorry guys, I've this is my first time playing this, so I don't know exactly what's going on all the time. So bear with me here. Screw that. I don't need coal right now. I just found I believe this is an NPC village. I don't know what NPC stands for, but that's what they say. <laughs> I think it's something like an NPC is basically an AI character, I think. It's an acronym for... I don't know. There don't actually seem to be any people here. Any AI characters. It's just an abandoned village. But... 
Oh yeah. About I'm gonna I have to tell you about food now. My hunger bar seems to be the same as it started. So I don't really know how soon I'm gonna have to eat. Well, that's really annoying. It's harder to kill animals now. Sometimes when you... I think I just picked up... Did you see that little circle? I think that was an experience orb. You know, this is going to be the worst first day tutorial ever because I don't even know what's going on. But I'm going to try to show you guys... I don't even need to build a shelter. I just found houses. I'm going to make sure they're lit up inside and I'll just uh, kind of stay here once the sun goes down. But I'm also going to I'm going to try to show you guys how to get food first. Oh man. This pig won't hold still. He's running around randomly. Okay, sometimes I always have this problem. When you kill pigs, they're supposed to drop some food. Yeah, I like this. And they drop this raw pork chop here. Oh, and my hunger bar is starting to go down. See how, at the bottom of the screen, see how my one of my uh, drumsticks is empty? If I uh, eat this pork chop, I think... Oh, you have to hold, it, hold down right click, and you'll eat that pork chop, and it'll fill up your meter. I'm going to kill another sheep real quick. So I can make show you guys how to make a bed. Wow, look at that. That is pretty cool. Apparently they have an all new sunset. That is really cool looking. Alright. Once I've killed three sheep and I have three wool and that's enough to make a bed. to plop down my crafting table up on here. That looks good. You open it up, put three pieces of wool across the top, and three planks underneath it, and you make a bed. The reason you want a bed is it allows you to go to sleep. When you wake up, it'll be morning again. And hopefully monsters will be gone. But if you've never played Minecraft before, you're probably wanting me to show you some of the monsters. So I'm going to go out here in a second. But first, just in case I die, I'm going to make it just to store my stuff. You know, right now, actually, if I die, I probably won't be able to find this place again, but... Just in case I do, I'll be able to pick up some of this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and run out there with a sword. Because there's some new scary stuff here, and I don't know really what's going to happen. I'm usually good at fighting off monsters, but I can't really say for certain what's going to... Alright, a good, a good first monster to learn is a creeper. Uh, that's the screen thing. Stay away from it at all costs. Uh, I'm going to try to lure it away from the town. Oh god, um, I'm in trouble. There's a spider. I'm going to try to kill it. Oh god, it's fast. Hopefully I don't back into another monster. Okay, um, oh god. Oh, sh Enderman. Oh god, he saw me. Uh, um, Sorry guys, I have to get out of here. Oh my god. Okay, this is not going well. I was going to show you what creepers do, but it's not worth it right now. I need to figure out where I... W where was I? Okay, 
Shut the door. Um, hopefully, if you, if you guys, um, don't find one of these, uh, villages before nightfall, you're going to want to build a shelter, and I'd say just go ahead and dig into where you found the coal, uh, keep digging, seal off the entrance, uh, make a crafting table, Take some of your wood and coal. Uh, go to your crafting table. You can do it in in your inventory. Put some coal on top of a stick, and it'll make four torches. You can use that to light up your cave. You just right click on a wall; it'll place the torch there, and uh, the torches will light up the cave hopefully keep monsters from spawning in it. But uh, this here village is pretty sweet, so if you can find one of those, I kind of recommend it. And so, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. This is probably the worst first day tutorial ever, but since this is kind of my first day, I think I did pretty good. Hopefully I helped you a little bit. Maybe not much. But thanks for watching. I'll I'll make some more videos when I figure out what's going on.